make sure to vote no on um, the 8th of March 2024. Um, I'll be voting no in this referendum because I think that this is the state uh, that will have every single uh, opportunity. If it does, if yes, it does pass, um, I hope it won't. I'll see in a day what happens. But should the uh, the pro or actually no the anti family should the anti family it's gonna say pro there but the anti family brigade come out in their droves to vote yes that that will give the state power to eliminate the uh, to to amend uh, Article Thirty Nine uh, and will and will make an amendment to delete the word family from the constitution uh, they regard the whole the whole family structure the idea of a woman's place in, in the home whether that was during uh, during Eamon de Valera's time or whether that was during um, a time when you know women didn't have much uh, opportunities uh, back home a lot of them like to uh, my I would have had relatives who would have gone gone abroad, like go to find work there, where it was much more kind and lenient to them. But um, a woman has certain responsibilities to the family, to and the family does as well. But more importantly, the, the idea of the family uh, seems to be so offensive in this day and age that we want to get rid of. Uh, the very very structure of what a family is I'm not saying a woman shouldn't have the right to work I'm saying that a woman should uh, should have um, should have freedom but uh, we have a thing called natural law natural law is very under underpins our constitution and I don't think that by uh, changing it will it will uh, it'll make a ton of difference uh, if if it is if it is changed and it will, it will it will definitely uh, it will definitely replace the word woman from the constitution and family, and it will allow uh, an influx of illegals into people's homes. Because don't forget that they don't just want to come after the family; they want to come after your home, your private property, what you own. This is a whole globalist invasion that they're all that they're planning next, and the next thing on on the chessboard that they're that they're plotting for the destruction of Ireland. Is by seizing private property. Is by seizing this car, which I will one day drive on the road. I'm not tax insured yet, but one day I will. This house, this beautiful little farmhouse to live here. They'll take it away from from me as well. I hope not. Um, I'll stand my ground and fight them. Should they should they do such a thing? But private property, nonetheless, is an inalienable right that's enshrined in our constitution. It underpins like the what you know underpins everything. What it, what it means to have a constitution that respects liberty and private property and natural law. So hope you all will vote no on the day. Uh, this this vote will this vote by voting no we will save women. We will give them a chance. We will um, we will make sure they have their voices heard. Uh, they're an important uh, mem important members of the family. We shouldn't be changing it at all. We should keep it the way it is. I know I said like if we change it, it'll be what's different, but like um, um, but if the SI get their way, I hope they won't. But if they do, um, this is um, it'll be the end of it'll be the end of Ireland. I like the song. God save Ireland. Like, share, comment, subscribe. The link to PayPal, go to Telegram and Odyssey. And as always, guys, Eric Abra, over and out. Peace. Song of Vote no.